Okay. Today is April 22nd, 2017. We are in Hope Creek Care Center in East Moline, Illinois. My name is Megan Meyer and I will be interviewing Larry Garmo for the Illinois Veterans History Project on behalf of the Moline Public Library. Mr. Garmo was born on June 6th, 1949 and is 68 years old. Where did you serve? Okay. Um, when and where were you born? Mostly at, at uh, uh, June 6, 1949, in Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Okay. Um, who uh, were your parents, and what were their occupations? Barber and Harold Garmo. When it was rebuilt. And my dad was a factory worker, and my mom was a stay-at-home mom. Okay. Um, uh, did you have any siblings? Yes. I've got two brothers and two sisters. Okay. Um, did any of them serve in the military or army or rank? Just you, Marines? One brother served in the Navy. Okay. Um, what did you do before you entered the service? Worked at a gas station. Okay. Is that it? Just anything else? No, I was in high school. Oh, okay. Um, and which branch um, of the military did you serve? Marine Corps. My and grandpa was married. Oh, was he? Mm -hmm. we were like a um, did you enlist or were you drafted? No, I enlisted. What kinds of friendships and camaraderies um, did you If you enlisted, um, and with him? why did you choose well, that specific kind of branch of the military? Why did you choose the Marines? Serving? Do you have any like buddies that you remember? They're yeah, the yeah. toughest. And I can't remember any of them. All right. Do you have any um, what with happened them? when you well, departed for training camp? No. Like, what did you see like when you first got there? I, was in, uh, I went to San Diego, San Japan, and it was dark was when we got there. Did you celebrate anyway? They do it on purpose. Huh? Did you do anything special that night? We pulled in at midnight. In San Francisco? Oh, you were in San Francisco? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know how the streets I remember are. going through a, a gate. Women were driving fire They had drugs. MPs, and they pushed no us through. It, all right. And then what were your early days of training like? Like what would you see the first few days you were there? We were in a crowd. I grabbed a cap off of an Um do you recall like your instructors, like what they were like? And I were walking by in a in a the yelled a lot. All right. Deep voices. Okay. Um did you receive any specialized training or were you just like kind of the basic training? Basic training. Basic training. Okay. Um, how did you adapt to military life? Like, how was it difficult? Was it easy? Boot camp was difficult. Okay. But after that, it was easy. Um, what was like your physical regimen? What did you have to do like physically? It was challenging. Stay in touch. How did you keep contact with your family? So many push-ups. So many sit-ups. Not a lot. So many. My, uh, my dad, my mother got killed when I was. Ten years old um, in an automobile accident. I don't know what you call them, squats and now. Oh, mm -hmm. years, my dad had. All right, and then what were your barracks like? Quantity. Oh, helper. All right. Half round metal. Then he remarried. Okay, and then what about like well, food? What did you have to eat? Than him. <clears throat> uh, uh, food was part of the harassment. All right. And, she had a, and then what was your social life? Like, did you have a lot of friends um, around you and like in around you? In the Marines, yeah. for fun in boot camp, off duty? no, you weren't allowed to have friends. Do anything for fun, all right? And what about after that? Like after you got out of boot camp? Yeah, I had several friends. All right. And then where so did you how serve? How did you return home? Uh, camp Pendleton. Okay. Yeah, like by car, um, Vietnam, train, uh, Philadelphia, and then like southern Maryland. Okay. So okay. since you served How abroad you in Vietnam, um, what were some they memories you have of that? No. no. It was no. quiet. Well, if it wouldn't have been for the war, it would have been a beautiful uh, country. And how did you re readjust to the civilian but life? I remember as soon as we left the compound, you were scared mm -hmm. the whole well, time you were out. Well, I went to barber school. Okay. And you always had your and head turned every which way you could to and see I what's was, coming. I had hair for a couple of years. Okay. Um, were you on the front and lines? I got tired of it, and I went to the steel yeah. mill. You were? Okay. Um, like, what kind of combat thing. action did you witness? And I enjoyed it. I was with people. And like, was it like hand-to-hand -hand combat, or was it like from a distance? My dad from a distance. From a distance, okay. Because I, um, I went on the Did you like see combat, like yourself? Were you like there fighting? Okay. Yes. Um, 
How did you feel when you were witnessing casualties and destruction? Scared. Were there any veterans uh, All right. who worked with the um, mill? What kind of uh, friendships and um, camaraderie did you form while serving? Um, from like, what, do you still have some of those friendships? Like, did you still have some after you were after you left? Yeah. No, the last friend I had from there uh, what have just you passed away last year. So. All right. Um, how did you stay in touch with family and friends back home? Letters. Did you send them frequently, or was it just kind of like a non-frequent um, thing? I tried to write at least once a week. How did your wartime oh, okay. experiences affect you? Sometimes I got to, and sometimes it didn't. Okay. Um, what did you do for recreation when you were off duty? I mean, I'm grateful that I wasn't a combat. <laughs> Drink <that> beer. <laughs> okay. All right. And then, where were you when the war ended? Did you learn any life lessons? Oh, like, like Vietnam, where were you at when the Vietnam lessons? War ended? Home. Home, okay. Lessons from um, the war. How did you get back home? They made a back me back. How has your military service impacted your feelings then, about, uh, about war and the How were you received by your family and community? Were they like really happy to have you back? Do you have different opinions about they war? They were nervous at first. Mm -hmm. They didn't know if I was going to go back no, here or not. The hell mm -hmm. war was over. Okay. And, and then how did you readjust to along. civilian life? Like, was it challenging to come back? Do you have anything that you'd like to In say way to it was. for future generations who are watching this interview? Uh, no. No, no advice? Once people find out who like it was, story or it was okay. A memory that sticks out in your but mind. strangers would come up and spit at me. Mm -hmm. Just, just, like and I said, I was a push your kids away, mm -hmm. and that hurt. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, how have you and remained in contact with um, fellow veterans, or how did you once you got back? Thanks for being here. Letters and phone calls. Okay. Nice. And then, are you a member of any veterans organization? No. Okay. Um, what have you done since departing from the military? Like, what did you do after you got back and you readjusted? Well, I worked in the factory for a while. Do you have anywhere that you need to be? Then I joined the police well, department as a cop for 18 years. Cool. Okay. And then, how did your wartime so experience your affect your life? This? Oh. How did what? Your wartime experience, like, how did that affect your life being in the Marines? I was more I regimented. What, what? And I expected things a certain way. And when I told the guys to do something, I expected them to do it right then and there. And then what are some lessons you learned from military service? Respect. Okay. And, uh, yeah. That's it, okay. And then how has your military service impacted your feelings about war? Like, what do you think about war now? It's necessary. Thank you, girl. All right. And then. Do you help getting anywhere you're going? And then, what Go message would you like to leave for future generations? War's never back? good. Huh? Okay. Are they walking you back? And if you can you prevent go? it, prevent it. I can make it okay. on my own. Okay. All right. And then last thing. Okay. So I know you have some medals. Do you want to explain some of them and kind of show them up to the camera? Huh? You don't need an escort. You don't That's Marine Corps really good right. conduct. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you. This is National Defense. Okay. And all the branches awarded this. This is an Army com commendation, and so is this one, just a different type. Mm -hmm. All right, well, is there any last things you want to add or anything else? No. All right, well, it's great to meet you, and thank you for interviewing with us today. Well, thank you. You should come back and get those. Are you in school?